Each year, the tropical waters of the Atlantic become the breeding area for hurricanes. The storms rely on these warm waters for energy and moisture and can become increasingly potent as they're carried by the wind towards the Caribbean and the coast of America. Of course, the violent winds and torrential rain they deliver are capable of considerable destruction, although the track, intensity and frequency of such storms varies from year to year. Typically, after a few days, the storms weaken as they head northwards beyond the tropics over increasingly cool waters. The hurricanes are downgraded and the wind and rain they carry dissipate away. Sometimes, however, the lingering moisture and energy from these systems can wander their way far enough northwards that they get caught up in the mid-latitude weather systems that affect the UK. What eventually happens to the remnants of these storms depends on how they interact with the jet stream, the high level river of strong winds which blows across the Atlantic. Occasionally, the two can become synchronized such that the jet stream scoops up these remnants and re-energizes them, spinning them up into quite intense weather systems which are then carried rapidly across the Atlantic in our direction. Whilst not as fierce as the hurricanes they once were, these storms can deliver some particularly wet and windy weather to our shores, all the more unwelcome, of course, when they arrive in late summer, when we're looking forward to some fine holiday weather. A good example of this occurred in August 2014. As the month began, Hurricane Bertha headed north from the Caribbean, with winds approaching 100 miles an hour. A week later, its remnants had been swept up by the jet stream and brought a wild, wet and windy spell to the UK, delivering over a month of rain to parts of Scotland in less than 24 hours. Sometimes, however, such systems can have a very different effect on our weather. Three weeks after Bertha, the remnants of Hurricane Christabel were swept away further northwards by the jet stream, allowing warm, sunny weather to be drawn up from the south in its wake to start September.